Hey everybody, it's Jimmy from the DIY and Digital and it's time for another episode of Dollar Store Model Railroad Finds. Welcome back everybody. If you haven't already hit that subscribe button, go ahead and do that and hit that like button and hit that bell icon so that you don't miss any more updates including more Dollar Store Finds that will be coming up later. So for those of you that didn't see the first episode of this, I'll link that right up here. I take $5 to the dollar store and I see what I can find for model railroading. And I've got five more items here because everything's a dollar there. And uh, we're gonna check them out, we're gonna talk about it. So the first thing I have here is something that I did not expect to find in the dollar store and it kind of surprised me. And that is Mod Podge. Mod Podge is a hobby glue adhesive and um, it's good for a lot of different products. And I did not expect to find Mod Podge in the dollar store. So who would have thunk it? Two ounce bottles of Mod Podge, one dollar at Dollar Tree. My next item is a tool that you guys see that I use often on my channel, and that is a small set of screwdrivers. If you've been looking for a small set of screwdrivers, the dollar store is a great place to get these. There are several Phillips and several flathead screwdrivers with this, and they're great with working with small tools and locomotives and cars and all sorts of stuff. You really, this is something that's honestly a necessity for any model railroaders kit. And once again, it's a dollar at the dollar store. The next item that I have is something that I do consider a necessity for a model railroader, and that is a toolbox. That's right, this small plastic toolbox, which if you open up, it's just simple, it's one compartment, but it is one dollar dollar store, can't hold a lot, it's made of entirely of plastic, but that is something for good for storing spare parts, for scenery material, um, anything that you move around your layout, these are one dollar at the dollar store, great find. So my last two items are scenery related, and the first of these two is going to be these scrub pads. Now you may be thinking, what are these good for? I like to take these and pull them apart, and they make some really good underbrush material, especially at, on end scale. So it takes some work to really pull them apart, but as you can see, you can really pull this, and then you give it a little bit of paint and some glue, and it makes a good underbrush. And this is five of these for one dollar. So you can definitely get a lot of, especially in scale underbrush. Um, you can definitely use it for any scale depending. And it's good for detailing and just the randomness of it also makes it look very natural. So these are five for a dollar. They're uh, the heavy duty scoring, uh, scoring pads. And uh, you can find those at the dollar store. So I try to keep the coolest find of the video for last, and this is definitely one of the more unexpected finds at the dollar store. And it's one of those things that it can be easy to find something to model it, and it can be something difficult to find model it. That is, I found some black decorative sand. And um, it's a little bit large in the particle size. I'm wondering if I can grind it up a little more, but this is something that to me when I first saw it, it looks a lot like coal. It's got a little bit of that shine and of course it is an actual mineral because it's sand. So it's, it's, a, it's a glass material. So you're gonna have some of that realistic shine that you get off of some types of coal. So this is something, it's definitely right out of the box, I would say it's good for larger scales like O scale, um, maybe for HO scale, you probably need to pulverize it a little bit for N scale if that's even possible. Um, but you could still definitely make it work. But this black sand I found the dollar store, it's in the uh, decorative section, the same place that I found the reindeer moss in that area. So this uh, black sand right here, definitely a great coal substitute. So that's what I got this time with $5 from the dollar store. I go to different dollar stores each time so that I can vary it up since each of them have a slightly different selection. So why don't you let me know what you found for cheap or at the dollar store in the comments below. I would love to hear from you guys. Until next time, I'm Jimmy from the DIY and Digital. Happy railroading.